Okay, y'all. So y'all know it's Wednesday, so it's podcast time. Um, I just finished starting. You know what? I was sitting in there. I cooked during the whole show, but I managed to dip in and dip out. I did. Um, this was a good episode. Star is really, um, giving me what I need for for as far as the script. This show goes. It's giving me what I need. Tune in every week. Usually. A show, like a scripted show like this, it usually loses my attention. But we're going to go ahead and get right on into it. So, Alex got married. Um, Alex got married. And I I, I, I get why she got married. I'm honestly with the shits as to why. Listen, she said, I don't want to go back to juvenile. So, look, I had to do what I had to do. That was a smart move. But the gag is, (laughs) she trying. So, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, if Alex married Angel, that means that Angel gets to stay on the hands of him being married to Alex, right? I think that's how that works. Okay. But the gag is, she tried to, she married him to get out of the damn juvenile, and he ain't even a motherfucking illegal, <laughs> he ain't even a motherfucking, he's a motherfucking illegal alien, bitch, I'm dead. Okay. So, they come up here, I told you, I knew it was some shit. So they done found Hunter's mama. She dead. I knew it was some shit when uh, Brody was popping up. Um, Listen, bitch, Amaya stay looking good. I had to get off task there. But anyways, Brody, I'm at the beginning of the episode, I honestly did think that Star Daddy was the one who killed... Um, her mama, but then she had to. We'll we'll get into that. So Quavo, I'm out. When let, let me be honest, when I first seen him on the preview last week, I rolled my eyes. I rolled my motherfucking eyes. I was like, Lord, here we go with another hot artist. But you know what? Quavo is actually my favorite Migos out of all of them. I think he's like, I would say he's the Beyonce of the group. And I hate to say the Beyonce of the group because it annoys me when people say that. But that's the only way people will understand it. That's what I think about him anyways. Um, and I don't even care for Migos. And I like the song he was working on. I'm going to go try to see it if, if it's on Apple Music when I get off here. I like the way Star thinks. Star is a bad bitch. Because you know what she said? Listen, y'all kicking Noah off the tour. What if we get Quavo to, to headline the tour? Bitch, I'm with the motherfucking shit. Smart move. Now. Hey, Lala, it's good to see you, bitch. I see you motherfucking getting you some coins, girl. Get that check. You on power. You modeling on the Instagram. And uh, uh, now you on star. I'm here for the shits, girl. It was a little starter base role, but I'm here for it. I'm here for it, girl. Um, Ryan Destiny. I love Ryan Destiny's voice so much. Her, that song her and Quavo were working on, it was cute. I loved her on the chorus. It was good. He was like, listen... Yeah, I do this motherfucking tour, but y'all gotta give me this girl to sing on this song. I was here for it. Noah. Noah, Noah, Noah. Noah, you fucking up the tour process and everybody was trying to, you know... I don't know what to say about you. Um, just like, damn. I, I had high hopes for you, motherfucking. Um, I had high hopes for you, Noah, and then you fucked up the tour and all this kind of shit. And I was just like, okay, so what now? What are y'all going to do now? But I guess they got him back on the tour. I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um... When Brody opened up that door and the man knocked the hell out of Brody, Star's dad, my mouth dropped because I was like, oh shit, they don't find out about he killed somebody, spilled the tea to the fact that he done killed Hunter's mama. I was like, oh, here we go. Um, The song they did at this little 
Oh, this little place they did, the little I didn't care for the song they did that take three did and I, I liked the dances, but I didn't really care for the song. You know, it just sounded like the stuff you hear on the radio every day. And I'm not a fan of artists. Um, I'm not a fan of artists dumbing their sound down. You know, ta- I think that those are some talented girls, especially Ryan Destiny, and the white girl can sing really well too. Um. I think they're a good group, but I just didn't care for that. It seemed like a Migos type of song, but that Migos, Migos, quiet as it's kept, Migos probably was the one that handed them songs, that song down to them. You know, they're a fan of doing that. They do it to Cardi B all the time. Anyways, so Star had her flashback of what really happened. I know she felt like shit to the point that she had told her dad never to talk to her again. Okay. He was telling her mother, don't you tell anyone that your mom had overdosed. Don't tell anybody this. And that's got to be hard that she only had those candid moments in a a part of those. And it's kind of like, okay, like I have these dreams, but they never fill into the fact. And wow, I just told my dad to the last thing I said to my dad was. Don't come back in my life. And. Wow. He's in this tub getting fucked up. We'll get on that. Um, just for Alex and Angel kissing, I already knew there was some chemistry between them. I mean, <laughs> to be quite honest, Angel and Alex, y'all he is married, so you can do the two. And it wouldn't be no sin in the sex. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can fuck. I'm just saying. Noah asking Carlotta to be his manager. I think that would actually be a good idea. I think Carlotta, I love Queen Latifah on this show because she just is a boss ass bitch. Like, you know, she's like, I'm gonna make she make she reminds me of she she plays the role to me on this show who Deb Atney is in real life. That's who she reminds me of this show. Like, bitch, they won't give it to me. I'm going to take it. And I love Deb Abney. That's who I. That's who she reminds me of on this show. And I wish they would have Deb Abney on this show. Um, so the scene changes. We see Brody. Uh, Star calls Brody. And he's breaking down. And then they turn the camera. And it's the sister there. Okay. Now. I thought somebody was going to come up in that room and save him or something. I didn't know. I really thought High Hill was going to come in there and do something. But I guess not. So my thing is, was it High Hill who was the one who told them where he was and how to get up with him? Because I would believe that that would be the only person who knew where he was, right? I think so. And I guess we'll find that out as the season pans out. Um. Wow. Damn, Star, your daddy is dead. And the way he died, the way she cut that core out of that motherfucking lamp and put that shit in that tub and electrocuted him in that motherfucking tub. Bitch. Oh, I'm dead. Like, what? How? I don't know, y'all, but this was a real good episode of Star. Um... I know a lot of people have been asking me, why don't you watch Empire? And I just think Empire is known. And and I'm not saying Empire is a bad show. I need to sit. I'm so far behind on Empire and I never took out the time to get caught up. I need to sit down and get caught up on it because I would be so lost. But here's my thing with Empire. Empire's first season was iconic as fuck. And the season two was good. But Empire is just known for, okay, going away, coming back with a a, a fireworks, bomb-ass, iconic-ass season opener episode. And then it's like flatline after that. That's my issue with Empire. And you know what? I was talking to someone older. And she was like, nah, I just don't like Star. And I said, you know what? I said, you know, the issue is with me for Star. I said, Empire caters to your audience because you're older. Star caters to me. I think Star is like 
it's it's to the younger generation because they got the music, they got Quavo, they got all these people up here, and you know, even though they had Brandy and Patty Labelle up there, you know, the young folks kind of, you know, like my my era, we live for that. So, and not to say that we don't live for Empire, I'm just so behind on Empire, and I think that when I sit down and I watch Empire, I can already tell what's going to happen. I'll be like, oh yeah, this is about to happen. And then he's going to do that and then this is how Cook, this is what Cookie going to do. But the previews of this season does look good and it's like, okay, Cookie's in the hospital. Like, I can already pan the season out of how it's going to happen. She's like, oh, I don't want to die. I already know Cookie ain't going to die. Then uh, she's going to get out of the hospital and Lucia's going to fuck her over again. You know, I, it's just, it's um reminding me of like a black musical version of Scandal. Like with Olivia and um, Fitz, but I'm gonna sit down in here and I'm gonna watch it. I know I've been saying it for months now, but I am gonna get in here and sit down in here and watch it while I'm working one day. Why don't I get paid to watch TV at the same time? But um, yeah, that's all I really have for Star. Um, I may get in here and give y'all a video or give y'all another podcast. I don't know. Um, yeah, Wednesdays will definitely be the day that I do this. I will not, like I said, I won't be doing this all the time. I know y'all like seeing me, my facial expression. Somebody inboxed me and was like, motherfucker, I don't want to hear you. I want to see you so I can see your damn facial expressions because your facial expressions be saying it all. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to officially stop doing videos. It's just something I'm adding to this. But yeah, that's all I have for Star. This was a good episode. Y'all get in here. If y'all haven't seen Star, get in there and watch it. Bye.